Hey viewers, how the devil are ya? Well today I've got the brick furnace fired up properly with some oil burning power so we're going to get into some serious melting. I'm back with the furnace today viewers and we're going to fire it up properly and that's with oil burning power. Now for those of you that haven't seen my other 79 videos, this is my waste oil burner. It's very simple, it just basically has a blower connected which pushes air in. Where you can see that uh, pipe going in there, that feeds the oil from a tank. It is just blown in, it doesn't atomize, it doesn't spray, it is basically evaporated by the heat of the burner. All I've got is it just put in the side with a gap in the bricks and that's going to blow a mighty great flame right in there and heat everything right up. Let me show you how it works. The burner is merely sitting there, you can see there's a gap and I've just got the nozzle poked through in there. Uh, there will be combustion takes place inside. I've got a, a bolt I put on there just to block that hole and to start it off I've put an amount of wood and paper in there. I'll light that up, I'll gradually ramp the blower up and uh, give it some oil once it gets hot. That'll be evidenced by the oil you can see here on the top which is a handy little dribble. When I can see that really smoking I know where I'm at and then I can feed the oil and it will um, change from a liquid to a vapour which is what actually burns. It's got nothing to do with spraying or preheating the oil. That is just garbage. That does not work. It's, it's, I don't know why people think it does but it's, it's, you know, it's just a fallacy. Um, the heat of the, the burner will probably be up somewhere around 900, 1000 degrees. That turns the oil from a liquid to a gas. It's mixed with the air and that's what actually burns. That's my blower, that's just off a, uh, one of those inflatable jumping castles or bouncy castles as some people call them and it just has some uh, hose there which goes into the burner. It's probably not going to flow a great deal with that hose but you know that burner is capable of probably 500 kilowatts if I cranked it up and I'm probably going to be overpowering the hell out of this thing at about 80. So you know efficiency is not something that's in real big demand here this is the oil feed it's just a 25 litre drum uh, for the Americans that's uh, yeah 25 litres and that is just controlled by that uh, valve there that gate valve and it trickles down the hose and into the burner Often I use the air, uh, the oil rather, uh, pressurised. It just seems to give much better control. But I know that I'm not going to be running this thing too hard. So the gravity feed of what's probably only maybe two feet above it will be heaps for this purpose. And we'll go with that. In later videos, I'll, uh, when I get back into it a bit more, I'll go into the, uh, the little bit more elaborate setups and show you. Now I'm going to kick off with the uh, safety tips straight from the start. And here's uh, a personalised sign. No safety sissies permitted. If you're one of these whinging, whining little, you know, snowflakes that likes to carry on from Generation Princess, well, this isn't a video for you. None of my others are either, really. So you just sit at home, you know, keeping up that pasty white complexion of yours in mummy's basement, playing your video games or stamp collecting, whatever the hell you do, and just leave the rest of us, the rest of it, to people like us that uh, aren't worried about getting their fingernails dirty. This is probably about the longest time uh, since I fired this burner. I fired some of my smaller ones, but these big melting ones haven't had a workout in a good eight months or more. So, don't know how it's going to go, but uh, we'll soon find out. Usually, lighten the paper's the hardest bit. Oh, look, luck is with me. Okay, so we'll poke that in there. 
and we'll hit the blower and see what happens. Good sign straight off. We've got some fire coming out of the uh, the furnace there. Now I'll just let that heat up and then um, I'll give it more air as it goes. I've got that filled with timber as normal. There's a lot of other videos on my channel where I show how to light these so if you haven't seen it before by all means go and have a look and um, see how it's done. I'll give it a little bit more air. First it's a bit of a balancing act to get the air and the fuel right till you get it up to heat but once you've done it a few times it's not so bad. Of course having not done it in a long time it could be another failure but we'll see how we go. Top of that looks getting hot so I'll put the, um, the bolt in I used to seal it and we'll ramp it up a bit more. Okay, so getting some better flame there now. Might have to put a screen behind me for the sun, I think. I'll start getting a little bit of oil. veg oil fired and having some wood in there it smells like a barbecue already perfect so it looks like we're pretty much off and running guess it's like riding a bike you don't really forget the overhead shot there we go that's how it looks on an oil burner, just a big jet of flame coming out. I was going to put a pedestal in there, I forgot, but I don't think it's going to matter. It's a pretty small area, and once I crank that thing up, it's going to be pretty full of flame. Okay, so there's another shot in the top. Show you what it looks like when she's really cooking and getting warm. in, see if I can not singe myself too much, probably would have been a good idea to put it in the start, anyway, and uh, we'll see how we go, I don't think we're going to have any trouble melting everything this time folks. So let's see how we go with that. And there we go. Nice direct flame on there. I'll see if I can dial it up a bit. It might have too much more with that limited air supply, but it's definitely going to be plenty hot. to wood burning power well lack of power really didn't work so good but anyway now while that's getting nice and warm it's time for another safety warning and here's a really good one that all my regular viewers will know danger propane gas or for the Americans propane now you might ask what's the danger of this stuff well, let me tell you, viewers, as your, the regular watchers of my channel would know, gas is for sissies. So if you see a sign like this around, you know 
there's a sissy about as well and they are the most dangerous people on earth I'll carry on about safety shit and doing this and that and something else and I'll just cause you terrible pain in the ass. So when you see this sign, be aware folks, there's a safety sissy lurking and they're just waiting to spoil your goddamn day. Okay, so we're about five minutes into this run and as you can see, whoops, it's getting mighty warm in there. Too warm to uh, take too long a shot, but hopefully that gives you better of an idea. There's just a massive jet of flame coming out there, and even though I haven't got it covered, it's getting plenty warm real fast. Now, as you can see, folks, six or seven minutes into this, and uh, she's, she's melted well and truly. So I'll see if I can get that out, get rid of some of that dross which I hadn't really got anything for and see if we can pour it from there. Have a look at that folks, you don't get that with crappy wood or propane or anything else, that's pure oil burning power right there. Look at that aluminium, it's almost ready to boil. Good job I'm shutting it down, none too soon I reckon. Isn't it amazing the power you can get out of a bit of oil and just something that's made from scrap. Today I've got an even better sign prepared because it's yellow and everybody knows that yellow is the safety colour. So this one should work just fine and I'm sure we won't have any of the problems we had with the other one. Okay, here we go. Hot. Oh, 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 oh yeah, the, these just don't work, do they, folk? Oh, my, oh, oh, so much for that. Geez, that one, that one burned really quick. But, you know, if you can't see that's hot, well, you're an idiot. So, you know, no need to worry, I guess. It's, uh, it's definitely warm, that one. Now, my good wife has been the one encouraging me to get back to doing my videos and that one of the reasons was she wanted me to do another sculpture that I did a while back I didn't video it but uh, I made one of these things with water balls which was shown on another channel and uh, the one I did my wife really liked so now she's wanting me to do them for Christmas presents so uh, I'll give it a go and see what happens First thing, get these damn things in there. That ain't working. All right, I'll come back when I've done it. Okay, so that's my tube filled. Let's see what sort of a cock up I can make pouring the aluminium in there. No idea how much to put in. Definitely playing this by ear. Well, that looks reasonable. We'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe I should have put a bit more in, but it's probably solidified. Doesn't look like it's going a long way down, so we'll come back and see what happens. Now there's always more than one use for a furnace people and that's a barbecue. Once you finish melting down metal just throw your barbecue plate on there and the residual heat will give you a lovely uh, hot plate to cook on and do all your chops and your sausages and bangers whatever you like. There's more than uh, one use for these things that's for sure and this would have to be the coolest most powerful barbecue going around. Okay, I fitted a handle to my, my form or mould, whatever you like to call it. So I'll try and uh, tip it out, try not to lose all the balls and we'll see what we end up with. Well, thought that might happen. So here we have it. 
it uh, it turned out a bit different to I thought what I thought but I guess that's what makes it real art you might notice there are some of those colored balls still in there I reckon a day or two just um, leave it sit outside those things will lose their moisture contract and fall out back to their originals from being their original size as they started out it's uh, it's quite a funky thing it's square on these couple of sides quite flat there so um, it might sit nicely or maybe that way you don't know but um, the wife is pretty creative and artistic she'll uh, she'll be sure to do something with it and no doubt I'll be doing a few more of these uh, I might do a, uh, a bigger one next time do it in a, uh, a more open style mold and um, let it free flow a bit Anyway, I hope you found that uh, interesting. Please don't forget to click the like button if you did. Uh, by all means, comment. Tell me what you think, if there's anything else that you'd like to see. Um, and share it around. Thanks very much for watching. Rightio, love. I've done your first bit of art. Bring out the, the chops and the sausages and let's get this Barbie going.